Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know today's video is completely different and so random. I'm actually recording this on my phone right now before I go downstairs, but I wanted to jump on camera really quick. Number one, because the lighting in my bedroom is just like the absolute best this time of day. So I thought, why not take full advantage and just go ahead and get that popping real quick. Also, <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and pass the camera off to somebody else and have them record me because I don't wanna be like the whole time like shaking you around and trying to show you things. But long story short, the reason I'm doing today's video is because stay home movement is in full effect. I know that I have been at my house. I think I've left my house two or three times to like run out and do like an essential errand in the past like six weeks minimum. So everybody is forced to be homebodies and I'm a natural born homebody because I'm a cancer. So because of that, the past several weeks, I've been on Instagram stories a lot, just showing like random tips around the house, home decor, things that I love, food, uh, body products, whatever it may be, just like random things. And I cannot believe the amount of views I'm getting on my stories and not to mention the amount of DMs and tweets and messages from people saying, how much they love it right now. And I get it, because everyone's forced to be home. You guys are forced to be homebodies, and I know a lot about being a homebody. I love to organize my house, I love to be cozy. Anything that has to do with being home, I love it. So I got so many requests for a pantry tour about five days ago, and I figured, why not just film it, easy breezy vlog style, and throw it up on YouTube for you guys for something to watch. Maybe it will inspire you, get some snacks, organize something, whatever it may be. I know that I'm nosy, you guys are nosy, you just wanna see it in people's homes, so. That's what today's video is about. Let me know if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I hope that you enjoy this. I know it's super laid back and different, but if you do like it, please let me know in the comment section down below or again on Instagram, DMs, Twitter, wherever you feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass the camera off now and show you into my pantry. Come on, George. Let's show what we got. Come on, Billy. Go on. That's a good man. Let's head into the pantry. We go through the kitchen. It's just so exciting. Oh, wait, look at my board. Everyone thought that this was my handwriting when I posted this on social media. This is not my handwriting at all. But isn't this so pretty? Ah! Okay, here's my pantry. We can't close the door right now because we have lighting set up. We're keeping this super casual vlog, super casual by suspending lights from the ceiling for you guys. <laughs> and I can't shut the door, but oh, let me take a breath. One of my favorite features about my pantry is when this door is shut, it's got glass, so you can just admire the food from a distance. So when I walk by, I'm just kind of like, that's right, bitch. And then also, it's on a sensor, so when you shut it, the light goes off, and then when you open it, the light goes on, right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and get in here so you guys can see. Into the unknown! So now we are in my pantry and I'll be honest, I don't even know where to start. I love my pantry so much and if I'm being totally upfront and honest and transparent with you guys, it does not always look this perfect and this organized and this clean. It does always look like a version of this, but because I have been stuck at home for quite some time, I've been organized, obsessed with everything in my entire house. So this definitely is pristine right now. So please don't think like, Oh, this bitch, who does she think she is? This is ridiculous, because I agree it is. It definitely gets overflowed and all that jazz, but right now, we're in a good place. Let me start off by saying that when it comes to my pantry, the only people that live in this home with me actually live is Jordan and I and our three dogs. But when it comes to my fridge, my freezer, my other fridge, my other fridge, my pantry, it is not just about us. It is about my friends and my family, Hosting is my favorite thing in the entire world. I have people at my house almost every single day of the week. I love to make charcuterie boards. I love to feed people, whatever it may be. Even if it's something as silly as a frozen pizza, I keep so much food and snacks in my house. So there's certain things in here that are designated. This is like Talia's favorite thing, Jada's favorite thing. My mom loves these. So like my pantry is an array of all different things. And then on top of it, my boyfriend loves to cook so much. So we have tons of seasonings and sauces and all that. So I know I'm rambling on, but you guys know who I am and what it is. So. I don't really know where to start, but let's just get started. Charleston, all you like that awesome. jiggle? You like that? Shit? <laughs> Jiggling, you're stupid. <laughs> okay. Action. 
Are we rolling? Oh, we've been rolling. Oh, okay, great. I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but let's start with when you first walk into the pantry. Everything is labeled, everything has a place, and everything has a purpose. Everything that you see in my entire pantry as far as containers, labels, down to the pens that we use to write are all from the container store. This is not sponsored by the container store, although I wish you would reach out. Where the hell have you been? Because hello, I am literally your biggest fan. So when you open the door, the first thing we have right here is the on the go section. This goes empty so quickly because kids, me, friends, family, when you're running out the door, these are literally just snacks right here, chips, muffins, none of it's healthy. I mean, it's all complete crap, but it's there for you if you're just running out. We have granola bars, protein bars, crackers, nuts, whatever it may be, and it's just so simple. I try to keep this as stocked as possible. We change them in and out to different things because we're always on the go and doing something. You can just grab it and run out the door. If I'm jumping in the car with my nieces and nephews, they grab something and they're on their way. Up here, we have nuts, seeds, and dried fruit. This is what we use for salads. You see those nails? You see how pretty those look? I want you to get a real good close. Oh, especially these, because there's a Band-Aid there, because I sliced my finger making shrimp cocktail. But this section is for salads. Jordan makes the yummiest salads ever, and we use dried fruit and seeds and nuts in our salads all the time, so this is a very used department. Then, if you move down, this is my current favorite section, because this is new, and it makes me extremely horny. Sorry, little team I, sorry mom. This right here is just like so earthy and it's so my vibe. So we have all of just like our nuts. We have dried fruit, chocolate covered cherries. My mom's favorite back here. We got her chocolate covered almonds that she loves so much. Like I said, I like to keep things in my pantry specifically for people in my life. These right here are from Fresh Market and they're salty pretzels with peanut butter inside. So yummy. And then right here, this is okra. If you take this with a little bit of white wine vinegar, put it in a pan for just like three minutes. Oh my God, these are like pizza flavored almonds right here that my friend Amber turned me on to. Holy cow. And then that like super, super popular um, everything but the bagel seasoning. Where's it from, Andrew? Is it from Trader Fresh? Joe's. Trader Joe's. This is literally cashews with everything but the bagel seasoning on it. <gasps> so good. So I have these here because I love to snack and I'd rather this be my first option than for all of this crap to be my first option. So I go right here before I go back there. And then down here, I have my dog treats. As you guys know, I love my dogs very much. So I treat them as an equal and I give them their little canisters that say dog treats. And then we just, you know, change them in and out depending what dog treats they're loving at the moment. Okay, so then over on the other side, it's kind of awkward because this is a glass door. So I'm gonna have you come in here and come around. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so in here, this is the tea section right here. We have all of the tea. This actually was quite a little bitch for a minute, figuring out how to store the tea and all the cinnamon sticks because I love cinnamon in almost every single tea. I put cinnamon in my peppermint tea, in my lemon balm tea, in my sleepy time tea. And then Jordan makes the most amazing hot toddies you've ever had in your entire life for my family and cinnamon sticks. So we have all that, the honey, all that jazz right there. And this comes from the container store, just like everything in this entire pantry. And it holds all of your cute little moments, your little hefty moments, you know? And then down there, Backup dog food along with cookbooks that have been labeled for things that I'm like, ooh, I want this. Now watch me with, watch me nene. Wait, what was it doing? Oh, it says now watch me with, watch me nene, how we do. Okay, no, absolutely not. I hate myself. I don't, I love myself. Oh wait, the container store. When I was broke as one of my favorite things to do and also the thing that I did to relieve anxiety and stress is go to the container store. I know it sounds so silly, but I would never buy anything because I couldn't afford it. But when I had days off, at this point I was living in Lake Zurich, Illinois, and the closest container store was like 25 miles away. I can't remember where it was. I would drive there on my days off and literally just walk around the container store with a basket in my hand to look like I was shopping, but I wasn't actually shopping. I would just spend like an hour there because it's so organized and so perfect and everything is so orderly that it made me feel so calm and just like, at peace inside and then I would leave like oh, and then I'd go back and resume my life. I know that's so silly. So the first time I got to go to the container store and buy all this stuff from my pantry was a really big moment for me because I was like, I get to shop here, bitch. No one's gonna look at me like, what's that sketchy girl doing? So I love the container store. So let's get into like the meat and potatoes of the actual pantry. Right here is the snack section. So we have these six containers right here filled with absolute glory. It has been a long time to figure out what snacks to put in here. So all different snacks in each one. 
We have combos. We have Cheez-Its. Only Cheddar Jack and then the white cheddar because the original Cheez-Its are so lame. Like, they're booty. No one does that. Cheddar Jack is where it's at. If you've never had Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its and you like crackers and you like cheesy crackers, go for it. You won't regret it. And then we have, oh my god. You have no idea. The toasted corn tahini. It's chili and lime. It's a new thing that they came out with just a few months ago. I got mine on Amazon. So good. Also spicy and very limey. Goldfish for the kids because they're basic. They like goldfish. I don't know. I don't know. These right here, I can't keep them in stock. Yeah, I think of this as a grocery store. There's stock in here. And I have to reorder these already. You guys are the ones that told me to get these because I am a pretzel connoisseur. And I love pretzels so much. These are the Dots Home Style Pretzels. They are so freaking good, but they're not like a normal pretzel. They're not just like a salty pretzel. They've got a kick to it. A little spice, a little heat. So good. And I ordered a pack of like 30. And I just got them a week ago. And I have, I have two left. So, and then last but not least, Nutter Butters, which someone behind the camera wants to eat very bad. And I said, no, because I need the jar to look full and you can get it when we're done filming. That's your reward. Okay, right here we have the healthy snacks, as you can see, labeled healthy snacks. Sometimes some things get thrown in here that are not so healthy. Pretzel crisps, I would not consider this healthy whatsoever, but I still have it in there. I'm not going to go through everything in these, but like just for instance, so you can see like what's going on in there. You know, we've got bean chips, quinoa chips, we got pretzels. This is not healthy, you guys. Like, just because it says rice crips does not make this healthy, I'm sorry. And then we've got An Angie's Boom Chicka Pop, not healthy, but still, like late night cravings, I'll be like, I'm gonna be healthy tonight. I'm gonna eat a whole bag of pretzels and not feel bad about it. I'm gonna share this with you guys, but don't you sell it out, because I swear to God, I will show up at your house. This turkey jerky has become our new favorite thing. You have to be a meat lover. Me and my entire family, my boyfriend, we love beef sticks, beef jerky. It's, it's just so good. And this does not hurt my stomach at all. It's 100% natural, natural cut. And it is made out of turkey, turkey sausage. We get this at Fresh Market. Yeah, Fresh Market, Trader Joe's doesn't have it. And it is so good. So we always have several on hand. This one right here doesn't even have its little outdoor container anymore because we go through them like crazy. If I pull this out, me and Jordan will sit here and eat like three or four or five of these. They're so good. Sometimes we'll eat that instead of dinner. And just random things in here, you know, like just random snacks that are going to be better than reaching for Reese's Pieces or this is really better than Reese's Pieces. I know, but it's so up here, we have baking. I have not baked in a long time, which sucks. I really loved baking there for a quick minute because I find it really relaxing because it's very mathematical. And although I hate math, I just love the whole moment of baking, putting on the apron, destroying your kitchen, measuring everything out. It's so much fun. Cooking can kind of stress me out because it's like, if it doesn't taste right, you can just be crazy and add a dash of salt and pepper and more this and more that. And I'm like, ah, I love baking because it's like, you can't mess it up if you just stick to the plan. Now, this right here, these are my chips. So I'm gonna be totally honest with you, these are not all of them, but I made it look really cute for the video because no one wants to see a complete and total disaster. I actually have backstock up high, I'll show you that. I have backstock chicks, chicks? I do not have backstock chips. I have like little chickens up there like laying eggs. <laughs> okay, no, I have backstock chips i have back stock candy i have back stock like a ton that way when i run out i don't have to run to the grocery store because i know the things i go through very quickly i just keep them up there in back stock but this is the chip department i have my pringles and then just an array of chips whatever it may be jordan can't get enough of sea salt and vinegar those are his favorite chips ever so i have two more bags of these up there because that is his absolute favorite like guilty pleasure snack i love doritos if you guys have not had the sweet, spicy, chili Doritos. <sighs> These are the best Doritos to ever exist. If I did not have a sensitive stomach, I could eat this entire thing on its own or just dip it into refried beans. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys, it's so good. I have cheddar and sour cream ruffles, regular ruffles, because I love French onion dip. I love to make French onion dip and also just buying French onion dip. And it's just like the best, quick, easy snack for anybody when they come over. So always gotta have ruffles on deck. 
I need to restock my pretzels because this is all I have right now. And these are my favorite pretzels ever. Okay, so opposite side, it's just more crap. That's really all it is, just more snacks. I rarely get into this section because I really do not have much of a sweet tooth. I am more of a salty person. So I'm gonna go for crackers. I'm gonna go for the nuts. <laughs> okay, we're done. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the kids die for this. Another thing that I'm gonna put you on if you've not had these, it's game over. I don't even have a sweet tooth, but oh my God, these Pop-Tart bites, this is the frosted strawberry. Growing up, my sister loved frosted strawberry and my mom favored my sister. So she always bought frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts and never the cinnamon ones that I loved and I couldn't stand them. And I have a lot of resentment about it. If I'm feeling like, oh God, I need something just like crappy and sweet, that's my go-to. We've got that, Teddy Grahams. Hostess cupcakes, holy cow. Is this just turning into a recommendation of snack video? But these right here, these are the Tate's cookies. I also have a huge bag of them up there as well. They come in all different flavors, like butter cookies, macadamia nut, everything. But the chocolate chip Tate's are so good. They come in mini bags. Grab them, run out the house. We have mini Rice Krispie treats, which my mom talks crap about all the time because my mom makes the best Rice Krispie treats in the entire world and she's like why do you have those in there and I'm like well I wouldn't if you made fresh Rice Krispie treats all the time and just stock them in there for me so then down here this is just a random shelf of a million different things but this pretty much stays the exact same which is why it's labeled like Annie snacks fruit roll-ups chips popcorn Ritz and then back here you probably can't see it but we've got gushers so these always stay the same which is why they are labeled this way mini bags of chips because like I said I love chips so much it is my weakness so if it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm like oh I need some chips I'm not gonna go over here and grab a full bag of chips because I know myself I'm gonna really regret that so instead I'll come into here and just grab a small bag of chips so right there more snackies and then down here I have my glass bottle water, and then a few Fiji bottles as well. And then over on this side, oh, I'm trying to like break dance. Mineral water, club soda, and then Topo Chico, which is again is mineral water. This right here has like a ton of electrolytes and good stuff in it that was recommended to me, so I love this. And then this is just the most bubbliest, amazing mineral water in the entire world. Like the bubbliest water ever to the point that it's like spicy when it goes down. If you've got like indigestion, that'll fix you. You said most bubbliest? Most bubbliest. Get a picture of that. Oh yeah! <laughs> Get a picture of that. Buns and bagels, bread, tortillas. We love, 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 love taco night. We do it at least once a week, if not two or three nights a week. So we go through tortillas like crazy. We're trying to make a homemade cheesy gordita crunch right now from Taco Bell. It's not working out. I'm pissed, but we're gonna get there. Crackers, just crackers. The entire bin is full at all times of crackers because I love to make like just cheese and cracker plates with jam, meats, everything. And when people come over, it's like my favorite thing. French rounds, I know it sounds silly that I haven't been in French rounds, but we go through these like crazy as well. You can put anything on them. You can put cream cheese on them, you can put jams on them, you can put meats on them. I personally have to put bruschetta on them. And then cookies, this is just more, oh, this is kind of heavy, hold on. Holy okay. Shit. <laughs> okay. Cookies. We've got a full size bag. If you know, you know. I don't want to even talk about these. There's a reason why I have these up there and not down here. Because if I see those, it's all I'm gonna eat. That 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 that. Mm. Mm, 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 Your hair is like flipping on the other side. There we go. So there is a method to everything back here. Like it is extremely organized and it all has a purpose. So this is my favorite department. I think it might be my favorite in the, in I say department as if this is like freaking Target. But right here, this is my favorite section because this is like the Mexican food section. And if I could eat anything for the rest of my entire life, it would be Mexican food. I mean, to the day I die. Like I, I love it so, so, so much. I have my entire life. and I feel like I've never had a Mexican dish that I don't absolutely die for. So. Hot sauces are right here. This is Jordan's department because he loves hot sauces and he's extremely picky about it. I've got my Mexi corn here for my corn dip and then sauces and taco seasoning and refried beans. These are my favorite refried beans ever. I've tried so many of them and this is just where I always go back to. So good. I could just eat this out of the can. I'm just gonna be honest. I could just crack this open and just like, if I was on a deserted island, drink the juice. Not a problem. Absolutely. That and pickle juice. Game over. And then right below that, we have tortilla chips, 
which again is labeled because this is something that my family goes through like crazy. So we have all different tortilla chips and then salsas. This is my favorite salsa at the moment. It is so, so, so yummy. Like if I just want like a quick little snack, I'll put a tiny bit of this in a little like Petri dish. Just eat a little bit of it and I feel so happy. If I had to pick one salsa in life that I couldn't live without, it would be this. If you had this black bean and corn salsa it's got a little bit of a kick to it it is medium chunk oh my god it's so good i'm a medium chunk so then on the flip side we have just like an array of things different condiments obviously ketchup oh my gosh we love pepperoncinis so 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 much so we've got pepperoncinis pepperoncinis sweet peppers back here pepper rings pepperoncinis olives all that jazz you guys get it sweet baby rays sweet baby ray hickory i swear if you guys sell out these things that i'm talking about i will come for you get that down here get it get it i will come for you did you hear me can you hear me I hear you. i'll be honest i don't know how to pronounce this gray poupon yes is that right yes oh didn't you see the commercials no oh, do you have any gray poupon that sounds so, I hate, mustard is the most disgusting thing in the entire world to me. There's nothing worse than mustard or horseradish. So the fact this is poupon and gray, gray poop? Yeah, throw that on a burger. I'll take some gray poupon. What the f We have tuna, we have dips, and then we have ramen. I'm sorry, you're never gonna take the poor girl out of me. I love ramen noodles so much. What's it called? The broth, the broth. <gasps> it's so good. I love ramen noodles. And then these dips right here, the Lipton onion dips, so yummy and so easy to make. Mix it with sour cream, you're good to go. Khloe Kardashian is the one that put me on that one and it is so bomb. Let it sit for like 30 minutes before you eat it and it gets even more oniony and thick. Mm. Mm. We like our girls thick. Down here, breakfast section, proteins and PB&J. Cause it kind of makes sense. Like breakfast, protein, PB&J all kind of goes together. And then we go into cereals. I don't have labels on them because they come and go constantly, but like I know which one is which, so I don't have to put labels on there. That way, like it just makes it more work to make sure you always have the same cereal in the same place. So I allow the flexibility in some areas of my life. <gasps> George, you're gonna say hi, dudes? Oh, what's up? We see anything in the, in the microphone? My soups and my soup rack, I love soups. And I kind of have a comfort in the fact of like, if any shit goes down, I ever get caught in my house. I'm triggered, I'm like when I've been stuck in my house. I have soups and these are my favorite soups. Sarah, actually, ah! <laughs> look away. Sarah actually hid this back here because she said she didn't want me to talk about it because I introduced this to her and she doesn't want it to sell out. So Sarah, I'm coming for you and so is everybody else. This is the best soup in the world. It is the most lemony, yummy. Oh my God, it is so freaking good. But don't sell it out because I think Sarah's gonna have an actual breakdown because she pushed this in the back and was like, you can't talk about this. Don't tell anybody about it. Don't go like toilet paper on that bitch and clear the whole aisle. Just buy like one can of soup and be done. Okay, keep it cute. Topical. Hashtag keep it cute. <laughs> So now we are on to this shelf right here. We have the things that I don't use. I'm just being honest. I do not cook. I'm not gifted at it, but Jordan is so good at cooking. So this is his section. White wine vinegars, red wine vinegars, apple cider vinegars, just vinegars in general. And then over here, oils, all different oils, avocado oil, grapeseed oil. He uses this when he cooks out on the grill outside. What's that grill called again? Evo. The Evo, yes, when he cooks on the Evo, that's what he uses, grapeseed oil, light olive oil. This is what I use for one of the grilled cheeses that I make, <laughs> but not the best one. That's still coming for you. And then pasta, kind of like all works together. And then we have pastas here, pastas here. Again, you see these containers everywhere, you guys. Always the container store. Come over here. We have more like Asian dressings. We've got coconut aminos, which is so much better for you than soy sauce. So I tend to use coconut aminos. I will sometimes mix them and just do 50 50 or like 75, you know, 25. You guys get it. Was my math right? I need to go back to school. <laughs> 75 25. Duh. Me and Jordan love, love, love Asian food. So he loves to make like all different types of noodles, salads pad thai, all that jazz, and then just more glazes, marinades, stuff like that. Balsamics come up. We've got grains. This rice right here is so amazing. We eat this all the time with salmon. I mean, we eat it with everything. We'll do it with chicken. We do it with so much, and then he'll just marinate it. And it, do I sound smart when I say marinade? 
Yeah. Cause I really don't know what it means, but I'm like, yeah, he marinates it. So you hear him say it. So like we're marinating. Breadcrumbs, more pasta. Then back here, pasta sauces. And then right here, extra nudes. These are the noodles that do not fit in here. If you guys want to come for me and say that the double cheeseburger macaroni hamburger helper is not the most amazing thing you ever had in your entire life, then I really don't care about you. You can unsubscribe. This is my childhood. This is the best thing ever. And then right here, the best mac and cheese of all time. If you have not got on Annie's mac and cheese for yourself or for your children, trust me, do it now. Even the ones that you heat up. I talked about this on my Instagram stories. You can take the cheddar, throw it in the microwave for three minutes with the powder in it and then add actual shredded cheese on top, a little salt, a little pepper. Oh, there's a sticker on there. <gasps> How embarrassing. I asked my people to take this off. Now you can see what's in there, right? Okay. But the white cheddar, I heat that up as well. Like I'll heat up for the kids. And then just sprinkle shredded Parmesan cheese on top, salt and pepper, and bitch, you in a good place. And then last but not least is the candy section of the pantry. I love the way this looks. Those are actually glass jars, and they are up very high for a purpose because the kids cannot reach them. That candy lived right here in this section. Everybody would be eating sugar and be on a sugar high 24-7, so we try to avoid that. And then over there, we've got popcorn. All of our popcorn, my favorite popcorn, popcorn bins. I use those for the kids because it makes them happy. And then grab some candy, throw it in the popcorn, and live your best life. Other than that, everything in here is just like back stock and just like extra storage, just like extra chips, extra cookies, extra crackers, extra candy, extra everything. My crock pot. I've got my air fryer and then my instant pot as well up there. Just random little things, but it also still looks put together. So that's it, you guys. This is everything in my pantry. I love this pantry so much. When I actually toured this house for the first time, they were still building. So like not everything was like set in, like it didn't have the shelves and everything. It just was this room. And I was like, oh my God, this and the laundry room and the master bedroom were the three things that were like, I need this house. I love this pantry so much. Dude, George. <laughs> okay, come here, buddy. Okay. Yeah, that that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. I know that it's like so random for my channel, but it was a very requested. So if you didn't like it, oh well, there will be others. Makeup tutorials will be coming soon. But I definitely felt like it was appropriate with everything going on in the world. And I know everyone's trying to organize and figure out something to do in their house right now. So I hope that you enjoy. And that's it. I'm gonna leave you guys here. I love you guys so much. I actually am very hungry, so I'm gonna go eat now. <laughs> I love you guys. I will see you soon. I hope that you enjoy it. We out like drought.